Now, the Opposition Workers' Party says it is looking into a video suggesting an inappropriate exchange between senior party members Leon Pereira and Nicole Sia. Well, a clip that is making its rounds on social media appears to show Mr. Pereira dining with Ms. Sia. At one point, the Aljuna GRC MP can be seen holding and stroking her hands. Uh, both of these individuals are married and are part of the Workers' Party's Central Executive Committee. Uh, in a statement, Workers' Party said that it will comment when it has all of the facts. It adds that it expects all its members to fully own and account for their behaviour. Uh, Mr Pereira was not at his scheduled Meet the People session at Seringun North when CNA visited Block 146 this evening. Now, the MPs uh, was manned by the MPS, rather, was manned by three volunteers who attended to dozens of residents. Uh, when CNA asked why Mr Pereira did not attend the session, one volunteer says they would not know. They cited the official party line sent earlier that the Sarangoon MPS team would continue to provide its services to constituents. When CNA approached WP Secretary General Pritam Singh during his MPS at Badot Reservoir Road, the leader of the opposition said the party will respond when the fact-finding process is complete. Prof Tan, back to you now. Um, how do you see this latest case impacting Workers' Party? I mean, uh, again, it's, it's something, a video that's uh, been circulating. Uh, it's come to the public's light. Uh, Workers' Party leadership, uh, you know, they have been involved in separate high-profile cases as well. Uh, Pr Pritam is under uh, police investigation with regards to the Raisa Khan uh, situation, which, which we remember not too long ago. Well, I, I think like the People's Action Party, I think the Workers' Party will be under uh, intense scrutiny as well. Um, because we, we, we do have a report from, um, you know, the... Um, media report, you know, that, that indicated uh, that the party leadership was aware uh, of uh, the relationship uh, between the two individuals, you know, as early as uh, 2021. Um, so so it, how the party deals with all these information that is circulating, you know, and, and how they conduct their investigation, uh, I think will be something that will be closely watched. And, and certainly, you know, Singaporeans will compare how the current leadership uh, deals with the situation compared with how it dealt with a similar situation in 2012 when, when the then uh, Workers' Party MP for uh, Hokang, uh, Mr. Yao Shen Leong, you know, was alleged to have committed uh, a relationship with, with, with a married woman. Uh, he chose not to respond to the party's uh, queries and the party had no doubt uh, and were very swift in expelling him uh, from the party. Um, so I think it remains to be seen you know, as to how uh, the Workers' Party deal with this uh, particular matter, um, but they will certainly uh, be compared uh, you know, with how the ruling party has dealt with, with their own uh, issues uh, relating to um, inappropriate relationship between uh, the, the, the two MPs. Um, the Workers' Party will have to show you know, that they can measure up, you know, simply because, you know, they have, they have put themselves, you know, in that position where they, they have indicated that they're equal to the task of governing Singapore. So how they deal with it, you know, will be something that will be closely watched. And, you know, uh, I think the issue of um, when did they know of, of the matter and what is it that they have done, mm -hmm. Uh, whether they've acted quickly enough, you know, will be something that will be on the minds of uh, um, many uh, people who are watching uh, th how the party deals with it. Professor Tan, thank you. Associate Professor Eugene Tan there.